Good morning. It's just past 5.30 and I've just turned my bedroom lights on so that I can slowly wake up because I'm so tired. I don't start work until 2 or 2.30 today. So I was going to sleep in but my PT does a Zoom call at 6am or 5.30pm. And because I'll be working at the nighttime one, I knew that I should do the 6am one. I also have a little bit to get done before I go to work today and I knew that if I just slept in and had a chill morning then I wouldn't get anything done. So I've convinced myself to do the 6 a.m. I'm also doing it with Rachel which is really exciting because I really enjoy working out with another person even though I was doing a zoom call. It's just nice to have some physical moral support. I'm just trying to convince myself to get out of bed right now. The sun is rising in the corner if you can see that so that's really nice. I think that's the only positive of waking up at 5 30 a.m. every day is watching the sunrise from my bedroom. I love it. Finished my workout, closed my move, I mean closed my exercise goal. So the workout was 45 minutes and my total calories was 407, if that means anything to you. I didn't film any of my workout because I feel like I've been filming every single workout that I've been doing. I think just because I was excited that I could actually film it without like getting anyone in it and anyone else seeing a camera filming me. So I think I just got a little bit too excited and then every single vlog had a workout in it or two. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see every workout or like snippets of every workout or if you just like don't want to see that at all. I just know when I see other people vlog their workouts it makes me want to work out so I'm going to make a coffee and chill outside for a little bit before I have a shower and get ready for my day let's get some coffee in me I just got ready for the day I'm feeling a little bit more human and awake than I was before but I'm very excited because I'm going to show you a little mini nasty gal haul got a text from work. I just replied to my work message so hopefully that's done and dusted but I did want to just sit down and say thank you to Nice to Yow for sponsoring this video and I'm going to show you a little mini haul of stuff to wear in self-isolation and also stuff to wear once self-isolation is over. I feel like my online shopping addiction has become 10 times worse during self-isolation because I'm just like I need all the good clothes so that when self-isolation is over I can be looking really good you know. The first thing I got is actually this sweater that I'm wearing right now. It is a crew neck dress i am obsessed like they're so so good so comfy but this one is just plain white at the front and then it's got a graphic on the back which is so fun definitely one of the comfiest things to be wearing in self-isolation i also picked up this t-shirt you can't really go wrong with a cute little white tee this one has some wild flowers on it i also picked up a pajama set which is fun so these are the bottoms the band is also just really really stretchy which, which i love and then it says weekend mode along the waistband and then this is the top that goes with it as well it's just white and then along the bottom it says weekend mode just like the waistband of the shorts which i think is so cute let's be real we're all just wearing pajamas around the house at the moment so had to pick this one up as for some normal clothes i got a couple of bodysuits so the first one is just this little black like halter neck crop i think this is so cute and even though it's coming into winter it's definitely starting to cool down in brisbane which i am so pumped about it probably looks stupid that i'm getting singlets but i love wearing cute little singlets under like denim jackets or cardigans or anything to just keep me a bit warmer so i picked up this one i also got this blue bodysuit i am obsessed with this color it's just like a crossover front if you can see that you'll probably see it better on the try on portion but it's kind of like a ribbed material if you can see that which adds a little bit more to it longer sleeves and i just imagine this with like a pair of black jeans maybe some sandals some heels oh actually i got some heels great segue these are one of the outfits that i'm just really excited to wear when i'm out of self-isolation so don't judge me for getting heels when i'm literally wearing pajamas every day but just imagine this tucked in or well, tucked in as a bodysuit with some black jeans and some black heels like so cute i love these heels i'm not a big heel wearer i'm very clumsy and i'm just a sneaker gal i just love my sneakers you guys know this but these heels are so little that i think that i'm gonna be able to wear them you know i'm definitely not cool enough to be wearing 
wearing really tall big heels all the time so I'm obsessed with these and the little tiny ankle strap and the toe strap I just think this is so cute I also got another pair of shoes and if you have been keeping up with my hauls for a while I actually got these shoes in black a couple of months ago and I am so obsessed with them that I decided to get them in the white as well that's when you know you really love something when you get it in multiple colors but they're just platform sandals with like a strap up thing that goes up around your ankle and I just think it's so fun so wearable while being so cool and unique so obsessed with these I was lying when I said I only got two bodysuits because I actually got a third one picked up this one that has a really cute little floral pattern on the front it's got little puffy sleeves which is so cute and it's got a little tie up at the front which I think is so flattering again tucked into some black jeans some sneakers a pair of little black heels can't really go wrong I also picked up a dress which is really fun I've been really enjoying wearing dresses around the house on days when I just need that little bit of extra like boost and motivation to get things done getting ready for the day and putting on an actual outfit makes me feel way 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 more productive so dresses are just like the easiest thing to chuck on they're the comfiest thing so I picked up this black one which is really long and flowy and it just cinches in at the waist with a little frill it's got a v-neck it's got little sleeves which I love just so easy you know don't really have to think about it and the last thing I picked up is another crew neck surprise surprise it's just this a gray crew neck that's got some I mean I guess white but like light gray little tie-dye effects on it it's like stretchy which is very interesting for a sweater but very very excited about it it's not necessarily a crew neck that's really soft on the inside but because Brisbane doesn't really get that cold I don't really mind and I find these are way more wearable I don't have to take it off if I get a little bit hot I am obsessed and that is everything that I picked up. So if you want to pick up anything from the Nasty Owl website, there will be a link in my description box along with a link to everything that I showed you. And you can use the code GeorgiaR55 and that will save you 55% off the whole website, which is incredible. As you can see, I have my beautiful poppers behind me. I've been wanting to propagate him for the longest time, but honestly, I'm just scared. I'm terrified that I'm going to ruin it and kill him and make him ugly. I worked so hard to make him so long. He has these two vines that are just so long. It's actually ridiculous. So so I want to make a few cuttings and put some in water and some in soil and I also have another plant that has grown little like babies in the soil right next to it so I'm gonna pop them out and put them in little pots all my dad told me to do is cut off right before a node which is one of these if you can see that that's like a whole root growing out of the thing there so cut it off right before there and then stick the node in the soil I guess we'll do that I also don't know why I'm gardening in like an all white crew neck but here we are <laughs> I painted these two little plant pots on my channel a couple of weeks ago i'll link the video down below if you want to go watch it i'm going to pot a little plant in this one which is so cute so i have this plant here i believe it's called a pilea or a chinese money plant i could be wrong i'm really not very good with plant names and stuff but it's grown two little oh, i forget what they're called i feel like they're called like buds or something really really cute i'll google it and put it on the screen but two tiny little other plants down the bottom so i'm gonna try and like dig them out and then put them in these pots I honestly don't really know if I did that right, but hopefully they survive. <gasps> Look! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. Does it feel like you like hurt them? Yes. Or better. <laughs> and here is my propagation. I don't really know if this will grow properly. Sorry, this is an awful angle. I don't know if it'll grow properly because this top bit was a bit dead, so I had to chop it off. But there's a really big root already growing at the bottom, so hopefully that grows. But if not, it's okay because my pothos is so long, I can just cut another cutting. That's my gardening for the morning. I think I'm going to sit down and edit for a little bit and then have lunch and then go to work, I think. I've really enjoyed having a morning off. The last thing I want to do is go to work, but I know that I have to. <laughs> I've just been sitting at the dining room table editing for the past few hours and I'm so exhausted. I don't know why, but my eyes genuinely like hurt to stay open. But it is almost 1 p.m. So I'm going to get dressed for work and then make a little bit of bad to eat. I think I might make a coffee as well and then pack my dinner and head to work for the rest of the day. I know that the shift isn't going to be too bad. It's like late night, but like during self-isolation. So I really hope that no one's late night shopping. No one should be late night shopping, but like we'll just have to see how it goes. 
is normal late nights. We close at 9 and get out at 9.30, but I think we're probably going to get out at about 7. So like 2 till 7 is such an easy shift. But after the shift, I have three days off and that is fantastic, honestly. It's the only thing getting me through. <laughs> I also just don't want to get out of this comfy outfit. Like, are you joking? I wish I could wear this to work, but definitely cannot do that. <laughs> I just finished work as I predicted we closed at 7 which is really good honestly shift wasn't too bad I just hung out it was really nice and I worked with someone new it was nice to have like new conversations with a new person it's nice to have some social human interaction you know but it is 7 30 and I am going to drive home take my makeup off and honestly probably hop into bed I have a workout at 6 30 a.m tomorrow so I'd rather get an early night in bed lol okay somehow now 10 to 9 p.m I literally don't know how that happened but I've been sitting and watching some TikTok in bed maybe that's that's definitely why <laughs> but i'm going to head to bed and i thought i would end off this vlog now before i forget and then i end off the vlog with this silly little end slate of just tag saying that i forgot to end off my vlog i'm trying really hard <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already again a big thank you to nasty gal for working with me on this video and i will catch you all in my next one in the very near future bye